I wanted this a little lower, but yeah, my hair is weird. Everything's weird because <sighs> I just took it out of a clip. So it usually looks like it's all going the same direction that way. Anyway, hi, Manny. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am redoing this video because originally it was me switching out my purse and my work now slash school bag. Not that it was not a good video idea for me because it was real and what I was doing, no. And I've had issues trying to find a work and school bag that I really love. And I also have a few, I guess, life updates. I don't know. I don't know if you wanna consider it that. I'm drawing a blank. I'm actually very tired. I just went for my workout. You guys wanna see what I now have in my work and school bag and my purse and keep watching. Let's just get right into this because I've done a lot of changes, I feel like. Well, maybe not, I don't know. My purse. So I'm back using my real, this is a real Marc Jacobs tote bag. Love her. And I'm using the strap that David got me for Christmas last year. Just have one of these cute little Hello Kitty tags from the stuff I just bought at the mall. If you saw my TikTok haul, got a hair clip on there. And Side, I've cut so this is kind of like a two in one for me. You'll get what I mean in a second. All of my keys, and this is the remaining keychains I have on here. We have this cute little bear, we have Scorpio from Velvet Caviar, we have the, of course sparkly Victoria's Secret, which I'm never getting rid of. Key cover for my car, I drive a Chevy. And then this is obviously a replica, but this Louis Vuitton heart. Within this purse, I have, this makes me look psycho, but maybe I am. Belt bag, commuter belt bag from Baze. I obviously made a huge stink, if you follow me on TikTok, about getting the sports sling. Got the sports sling, hate the sports sling. Just actually sold it on my Poshmark. So thank you to whoever purchased it. I hope you get more love out of it than I did. It's just not, not the vibe. Not the vibe for me. I definitely love a bag that's more like this. It's very big, it holds everything. I'm not sponsored by the way, I paid for this with my own money. My wall, I love that it comes with like a little wallet and it was already like stuck to this, but this is a, what they call a key leash. So you can attach your keys to it or your wallet. I always put my wallet on there just in case. So I always know where it is. Tissues are in here. I've got some Orbit Sweet Mint Gum. My new glasses, I forgot to show these on TikTok in one of my hauls, but I also got these key sunglasses from TJ Maxx. They're super cute. I think they're perfect for fall. I have my AirPods cause I just obviously came back from my walk and they say, don't touch me. Just don't, don't touch me. I don't wanna be touched, just leave me alone. Also if I have a caviar, cause I don't have a problem or anything. A sanitizer, that's sweet mint from Touchland that's almost done. I've got pepper spray in here, my coupons, some cash and thing from Venus so I can get free tea. I keep this purse inside of this one cause I never know what's gonna happen. And if there's a case where I don't know, like I just don't wanna bring my bag then I could just take this out and throw a couple things in and that's it. So I think this is a good idea. I might be psycho, I don't know. This is the little glasses holder that came with the sunglasses. A return slip from pants I returned. This has to go back in my travel bag with this little Laneige lip mask that I brought to my mom's with me. That was a whole thing. I slept over my mom's this week or I tried to and my allergies were just so bad with all the animal hair. Literally my medicine would not tolerate it so I ended up leaving during the night. Sorry mom, she knows already. I decided to throw the Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth perfume in here just to have something nice in here to spray if I need to. I have the other part of this so YouTube please don't come at me but this is a, a certain device for certain situations that us women mostly have to go through, unfortunately, and it's not fair and it's bull That's what that is, that's all. And then I have another thing of tissues in the big part of my bag. Cute little bag from Queen Cosmetics that has all these little tiny things in here that I, I might, <laughs> Okay, that I might need. We've got dry shampoo, my Sol de Janeiro Charosa 62, a tie to go pen, one of those things for the credit card if I have long nails, but I don't right now. Another sanitizer from Touchlin. It's a 10 with keratin. I have a little brush and uh, mirror combo, allergy meds, and also there was B12 in there, but I just don't think B12 does anything for me, so I'm not taking that anymore. And then the bottom, I have some floating around expired Benadryl, but I feel like it works anyways. And if there's an emergency, I have a thing. I'm gonna be allergic to some something new that I eat, so I have Benadryl with me at all times, because you just never know. Or if someone around you is allergic to something. Of course, she's been in here for years. My Hello Kitty express, express, oh, who, what? Why? Hello Kitty Impressions Handheld Mirror. I got this from TJ Maxx. She's dead. I have to put new batteries in her, but she's cute and great for on the go. And then the small part, I have a used tissue, because that's probably from today, honestly. Oh, I did have a pen. Oopsie. Magnetic charger that goes to the back of my phone. This is also, again, from Velvet Caviar. It's the white opal. So pretty. I might have to change my phone case to this one. 
I want to change my phone case again because I'm psycho. It's fine. I don't know why that reminded me. Yes, I've opened up my Poshmark again. If you guys are interested in anything, I will leave the link in the description. I'm marking everything down pretty reasonably, but if you want to send me an offer, go for it. I'm not really too picky, only with certain stuff, but I mean, it's whatever. I'm just trying to get rid of things. I'm actually starting to declutter my closet yet again. Yet again, you'll see in the vlog, I already talked about this. We are on a no clothes buy probably until 2024 because no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Moving on. I have a Laneige gummy bear lip balm in here. I've had this for almost a year. Same with my, you guys will see, but this is always in here in case I need that. Eye drops. These are the clear eyes ones. Oh, that's what I forgot to buy. Another eye drops. It's fine. These expired last October but it's fine, they still work. Apparently Clear Eyes is not making the maximum itchy eye relief. This is like the only one that I really, really like because obviously when I have allergies, sometimes I get hairs in my eye, my eyes get red, it's not a fun time. This is for David. This is something for his uh, doctor's appointment, so no one needs to see that. I have, again, another device that I have to carry with me as a woman because it's unfair that women are subjected to having to protect ourselves when going out into the public world. That was a long dragged on sentence that didn't need to be said, I'm aware. Remember when I bought key sunglasses and they didn't come in like cloth, it came in like leather, but I love key sunglasses. I think it's one of the brands that I don't mind spending the money on, but definitely check your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls because these were only 20 bucks and normally a pair of these goes for like 50, 60 bucks on the site. So just throwing that out there. Bag one down. I've gone through a few of <laughs> thinking what my next bag is going to be because Obviously, I love my Neverfulls. Obviously, I have uh, the tote bag dupes that I really love. So I tried to use two of those as my work and school bag, but I saw this one at TJ Maxx last week when I was with Nate. I didn't get it and I regretted it. And then I went with my mom this past week and I found it. So I think it was meant to be. It's such a nice bag, oh my God. By the way, if you hear noise, my husband's playing video games. The Steve Madden black tote bag. It also came in like this like tan color and then like a mauvey purple color that I saw there. Oh my gosh, so pretty. She's got a pocket in the front. She's got so much room on the inside, which I'll show you guys, but like that's just a, a glance. There's a middle part and then there's a whole nother big section. And there's a whole bunch of little areas that you could put stuff in, which is amazing for me. So let's go through this because this is also gonna end up being my school bag. I don't have any classes on semester on <laughs> I was gonna say, I really thought it was a semester. I don't have any classes on campus this semester. I kind of want to just have online classes because I just personally don't feel like going to my school at night and doing that, maybe in the future. I'm still probably gonna carry my MacBook and then I have a textbook for one of my classes. So I probably still will be going to work early like a psycho and doing homework but a lot of the other girls were doing that last year too, so I don't feel that weird. This is her. I have one of my Hello Kitties on here, my little pink one, I love her. And then I have the other tag from the Hello Kitty and Friends collection. And then it also came with this little coin bag, which I think is cute. I really like this maybe for like AirPods or something. I don't know. Mind you, I will also probably have a notebook in here and again, my MacBook and my like, like pencils and stuff, but they're not in here right now because I still want to go through my planner and decorate it. It's fine. That's what I'll be doing this weekend, decorating my planner and getting ready for work on Monday. Anyway, hair clip, cause you never know, Meg. It gets, I get very hot and our room gets very hot in general and especially in the winter and really cold in the summer. I have another Laneige lip mask. This is the Sweet Light Candy. I had this literally all last year, you guys. And I use this every single morning before I went into work. So much of it. I feel like I've used so much, like holy crap. It still smells good. And I'm gonna continue to use my Laneige stuff until it smells like ass. So even though they're supposed to expire and I probably should throw this away, I'm not going to, so. Bye. School ID, which I can just, I'm just gonna show you guys the picture. So cute, so cute. Little baby 2018 Sam, who is she? I don't know who that is anymore. With the dark lipstick and the eye make, nope, that's not me no more. Then again, tissues, cause I, I'm always sneezing. It's like a thing now. O'Keefe's Lip Repair Cooling Lip Balm in case my lips get aggravated. One of these other lip oils, I bought a pack of two from Amazon just cause like the craze and I didn't wanna like, I don't know. I just bought them on Amazon. This is from Kaida Lip Oil. I have two of these. One is obviously like this peachy color and then another one is like a darker pink. They're okay. It smells minty. If I ever need something. It's kind of like a Dior dupe. This is my lanyard for work. I'm blocking out all of like my information, but I have my ID and my name thing in this little Hello Kitty holder because mine broke last year. She's clearly gone through it and she's probably gonna get replaced. And then I have this little paraprofessional um, ID badge thing that I got made from Sparkles and & Co. And then I have my little 
gummy bear sanitizer holder this is what i mean when like i have sanitizer on me 24 7 this is sweet cinnamon pumpkin for fall and then i've got this little popper bracelet thing i got at work and literally this has relaxed me so much i've got tums these have been in here since last year i've saved so many people with this including myself so these are staying watermelon squishy again stress things i'm someone like i need to fidget on something there have been a few times where i've literally taken like one of my kids putty when they weren't playing with it and i was just playing with it <laughs> because i just i needed relief i needed something <laughs> help send help immediately this is one of those things i really love this my mom got it for me it's just a squish you can squish it as much as you want it's like one of those squishies from back in the day and then it'll just go back to its normal self full thing of deodorant in here because the last one i had obviously ran out and it was a tiny one so i feel like i always need deodorant because i'm always sweating really badly at work between like they need you know some of them are wheelchairs need to go on lifts it's a situation and we have to run or whatever i always sweat really badly it smells so good but it looks disgusting. This is from the Baked by Melissa Tie-Dye Vanilla Cupcake Collection. I wish they brought this back because it smells so good. Last but not least, I have this little Shein Hello Kitty bag. I literally saved it because Hello Kitty's on it. This just has like pads and tamp tampons, no. Pads and liners. That's my, that's my life. And then I have this little Kendall and Kylie bag, which just has like my allergy meds and Benadryl in here. More eye drops. I have had this in my work bag for years. This is from Airwick. It is the pre-poop spray. You're supposed to spray it in the toilet and then poop and it smells nice. I don't think anyone really cares. I used to use this when I was at my old job all the time though, but I have that in here. Another dry shampoo, a nail file tied to go. I have this little thing for CPR. If you have to give it to someone, you want to put this over their face. It's like a mask thing or something. So I've always had that. That's everything that's in here currently if you guys think i'm missing anything let me know in the comments i feel like i should put some more things in it's a very big bag and i'm happy that i got it because i just carry a lot of stuff every single day and you're probably wondering why do you have a separate bag for everything because i just prefer that i think the only thing that's gonna throw me off about this bag is that it's got like a short handle and then a long handle but maybe that's just me those are what's in my work bag and my purse for the fall i hope you guys enjoyed this video and gave you some ideas if you are going back to school of like what you should keep in there or whatever the case i was always like a big like prepared girl when it came to back to school like i loved being in school like i love buying the school supplies i love just going to school if it, my mental health was okay <laughs> if it was not okay i didn't want to go to school i was someone that always loved school and i kind of low-key miss being in college even though it gave me so much stress and anxiety like i've said previously I feel like I was just in a very immature place back then. I was in my 20s, like whatever, figuring it out. And now I feel more ready and I feel more just like focused and ready to further my education. And I want to get a degree in something related to what I'm doing for work now because I am no longer in daycare and I'm never going back. Mark my words, mark my words. We're never going back. If we cannot get into para, we will find something else. <laughs> I'm not, no. That's only for the future when we eventually move to Maine. If I can't find a para job, I will still work in a school system. I don't care. I'm not, nope, not happening. It's not happening. And this tea is giving me life. I love you guys so much. Hope you've an awesome day subscribe if you want to see more of me like this video if you enjoyed turn on bell post notification when the f i post a new video wish me luck because monday's a big deal monday's a big day oh my god i'm happy i'm with some people that i worked with last year though and i'm in the same room as i was last year so grateful grateful doesn't even begin to describe it love you guys i'll see you later